10th generation Chevrolet Impala. This car has been getting a lot of praise over the last couple years since its inception and I actually own a 2014 Impala. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show off all the mods that I currently have in my car. Uh, the footage you're actually seeing right now is some old footage but it'll get the message across just the same. So what I want to do is just show off all the mods in my car and give you guys just a little bit of an idea of what you can do with your Impala. Alright, so let's get started. So to start things off, we'll start with the fog lights. The fog lights were one of the first mods I put on my car. I actually put these on after I got my headlights reworked. Uh, and we'll get to the headlights in just a second. Uh, so right now, these are the fog lights. Uh, I'll put the items in the description if you do want to purchase them for yourself. And so here are my flashers. The flashers are LEDs as well from JDM Star. Uh, I'll put those in the description. Uh, and now, this is my night mode. Uh, and so what happens with this is all my lights are on automatically uh, Here are the switchbacks as well the strips as well as the LED switchbacks from JDM a star uh, And I'll put those in the description as well So with these mods, it's really cool. I have a lot more control over my lighting, which I really like I love that and So this mode I have here I call it sunset mode dim mode or just anything that doesn't require me to turn on my actual headlights. And so here are the halos. Yeah, I know there's a little issue. One does look green. Um, so what happened with that is uh, one of my, and I'll put some pictures up, one of the halos actually lost its blue hue. So everything looks green while the other one, you know, of course still looks white. When all colors of red, green, and blue mix, they make white. Uh, and this uh, actually malfunction so I have to get new ones put in but it's all good I can still run through the cycles uh, of all the colors the only colors that are not active are my blue halos so anytime I run through purples or any mixtures of blue as you can see it'll still turn red it'll just it'll, it might be off completely if it's a certain type of blue or purple uh, and as a general note I do uh, tend to like uh, running my halos along with my strips in the sunsets or evenings then switch to my headlights at night uh, So here are the high beams, you know, they get you know, they get a little brighter uh, Not as bright as HIDs, but you know, it's good for my taste Moving on we're on the tail lights now um, We'll start things off with the brake lights of course uh, as you can see everything syncs up pretty perfectly uh, There are the hazard lights um, and if you notice, my reverse lights, they actually have a little bit of a, a dim mode to them. I don't, I forget why I bought them. Um, they may have been from a person in the group. So there are the reverse lights as well as the brake lights as well. I like that split that they have between them. Uh, it's very dope to me. Uh, I believe this is going to be the uh, night mode. And so you can see how the, the two beam turns on. There are the tail lights, the blinkers. And then we'll do the reverse, the reverse lights as well, uh, just to give you a full idea of everything. So there's everything together all at once, and boom. I also have uh, license plate lights in there, but they're pretty dim from what I can see in the video. Uh, oh well. Now here's a point I've been trying to make uh, for the longest. So I'm in this group called the uh, My 10th Generation Impala Group. It's on Facebook, you can look it up. I might leave it in the description as well. But a lot of guys say the tail lights look like Malibu tail lights, uh, or this or that, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, now these are actually a second version. There was a an, oh, an original version that were created uh, that kind of followed more so the tail lights of the OEM parts. Now these, in my opinion, are a lot more original in their design, even though they're pretty similar to those uh, those other LED tail lights. But the way they fan out at the ends, those are a design language that kind of mimics the uh, design language of the Malibus or any other GM car uh, for their newer uh, generation models. And I think it's really dope. I think they did a good job uh, at matching the tubing uh, to other design languages on the car itself. If you look at the fog lights, they look just like the same type of tubing design. Uh, my modded tubing is the same, 
so I'll just put pictures up in comparisons to show you uh, why they look so similar and why it makes the car look like one cohesive uh, design instead of it being like, you know, you bought the part from here, you bought it from there. All right, so this is the inside of the car. So uh, I only have a couple mods in here uh, from the, you know, the lights and the wheel wells and stuff like that. Nothing too major. Um, but I also have the uh, IL5 module as well as the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto hookup. So I have my Android right up in here right now. And basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna show up on the home screen. Um, and remember this is a 2014 Impala, so they don't usually have that. Uh, and that's the really cool thing. So once we're in, we're good to go. Um, and because I have a uh, rooted Android, what I can do is a few other things with Android Auto. I don't tend to play uh, with Apple CarPlay like that, uh, just because I know I need a jailbroken iPhone for that specifically to get like the full effects of what I wanna do. So I just play with Android. Um, so, so like I said, with the root, when you go into the menu, it'll have different icons in here that are not just like the usual Android Auto app. So I have car stream, widgets, the browser I don't really use like that. It's pretty cool to have. But the big thing is Android Auto Mirror. So once we load that up, and that basically just gives me full capabilities of using my phone while on the screen. And as you can see, it's still on there. So let's go back here real quick. And I'll just show you a couple apps to kind of get, give you an idea of what is really going on so it's actually the screen again and then once we go up in here you know it's just like normal just like using the phone so you can see all your notifications and everything it's very very way more intuitive in my opinion uh i don't do too much while i'm driving i don't like try to watch videos or do too many things i usually just go to my music and you know leave it at that for the most part but i can do everything on here Another cool thing, I guess, uh, is that my Morimoto's app for my Halos is actually, it's a little stretched on here, but it still has full functionality within there. As you can see, it's still turned on and I can use it just like normal. Uh, and the Bluetooth, everything works very, very well. Audio sounds crispy clear. I guess that's just because it's direct feed right into the USB rather than like, like audio frequencies and stuff like that. Uh, so that's a plus. Um, yeah that's pretty much it let me see if there's anything else like i said i don't really do too much i could play games if i wanted to i guess i don't really mess with that either let's see how it looks i don't really play with it at all i wouldn't i wouldn't even recommend this really so it does load up that was a pretty good it does look pretty good i ain't gonna fake it i won't lie it does look pretty good man out of my face. You're blocking my view. No. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do this too much. There's too many clicks. So yeah, we can actually play the game, you know, run around and all that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but I'm not, I probably wouldn't play with that too much. Uh, whatever. So yeah, there is the full, there's pretty much the whole deal with that. Uh, I, I think I did a good job at trying to make my car seem like one particular item and not just a bunch of knick-knack parts put here and there. Uh, you know how that goes. All right, guys, so in conclusion, that is Midnight, that's my Impala. Uh, all the items that I have on my car, all the mods, I will leave in the description down below so you guys can check those out for yourself uh, to list those off. Uh, for starters, we have the aftermarket tail lights. Those come from eBay. Uh, I got the LED headlights from BLEDs. 
as well as my resistors that go into the uh, switchbacks for the blinkers for the front and back. Uh, I also have XK Glow's LED sequential switchback strips which were modded uh, in a shop. Uh, the LED switchback bulbs I got from JDM at Star and the fog lights themselves I also bought those right off of eBay. Uh, the modules, the IL5 2.5 modules that are in the inside for the apple carplay and android auto those come straight from digital dash solutions so with that being said guys uh, i will get out of here uh, and you guys stay cool out there